Welcome to I Can Science That. If you're just joining in, I'm in the midst of a series of response videos to a debate between Austin Witsit and Professor Dave Farina. I'll throw a link right up there to the previous episode where I commented on the CMB and how Austin Witsit had brought up satellite data to try to prove the Earth is flat. Let's take a closer look at that data now. Once again, this is a response, so if somebody would share this with Austin Witsit, that'd be appreciated. And Witsit, uh, I would love to hear your response. Why is the CMB data, which you presented, this shape? What does this shape represent? What are we looking at in this image? What we're looking at is a sphere, a sphere that has been stretched out unrolled, if you will, to fit on a flat page, on a flat screen. The axis of evil that Austin Witsit stresses as evidence is an axis passing through a sphere. Not a flat plane, not a dome. This is a sphere. Let's take a closer look at the sphere and try to understand why it is a sphere and what are we really looking at? Here's an article from New Scientist, and I will link that down in the doobly-doo. Perhaps this image here really illustrates it best. This is the Earth unwrapped as, as that same oval shape that we see in the CMB. This is the, where the North Pole is. This is aligned with the Earth, so this is looking straight up at, say, Polaris, and down here, this is the South Pole of the Earth. And it is much wider across the equator because, of course, the equator is, is wider. So this is us looking down at the Earth as a sphere. This is us looking outward away towards the sky in all directions. And why does that matter? If the sky is a sphere and the Earth is flat, how do they take pictures under the Earth? How do they get down under there to see, to make a whole sphere that goes around? And if it's not a sphere, if this is actually a dome, why is it shaped like a sphere? So what is this curvy line then? This curvy line doesn't go through the Earth's equator. It's tilted compared to the Earth's equator, and it makes this weird curvy shape. What is that? That represents the plane of the ecliptic, which is the plane in which the Earth orbits the sun. So when we hear about the axis of evil, I think it's important to understand, no, the axis of evil is not aligned with the Earth. It is aligned with the Earth's orbit around the sun. And if you see somebody suggesting that somehow this is even remotely possible on a flat Earth, then ask them simply, why is it a sphere? Why is the sky a sphere if the Earth is flat? I have one more video planned after this, and in that video, we'll talk about what these colors actually represent and what does it mean and what the axis of evil actually tells us about the motion of the Earth. See you in the next one.